Welcome back to the Crane Training Overview, Part 2. We will continue with assigning lifts and exporting the information to the field. So what about the lifts of members that are assembled on the ground and then lifted? Using the Check Assign Member Lift tool again, I can select the members that are to be assembled and then lifted. Modify the pick location and the lift configuration if desired. Then view the lift information for verification. And finish by assigning the assembled members to the crane placement. When I refresh the Manage Lifts screen, I can see the members are assigned as an assembly in the lift. As we saw earlier, when the assembly is selected in the Manage Lifts, the assembled members are selected in the model. What about multi-lifts or Christmas treeing, where multiple members that are not assembled are lifted together? Using the Check Assign Multi-Lift tool, select from the model the members that you want strung up. If desired for this lift, modify the pick location and the lift configuration. And then, if the lift information is acceptable, assign the members as a multi-lift to the crane placement. Again, we will see the members listed in the Manage Lift list with a prefix of Multi-Lift. Finally, concerning the assignment of loads for lifting items such as decking bundles, concrete walls, or joists, we have the Check Assign Load Lift tool. This tool does not care what you're lifting. You set the load, the name, and configuration data, the pick and set points, and the system will calculate the rest. I'm going to create a lift for decking. Leave the configuration for the lift at the defaults and set it on the roof. The lift information looks good so I will assign it to the lift list. We see the assigned name in the Manage Lift list and can modify the values as seen previously. So how about adding another crane placement? I'm going to set up into Plan View for this new crane placement with this particular T-Rex HC80 crane. Using the Add Crane Placement, I will select the crane and add an additional placement the same way as I did for the first placement. I'm going to automatically assign members to this crane placement. I will edit the crane and set the crane object back to the first placement. Notice in the edit that you can set the boom angle and the orientation. Currently, the crane object has the correct pad size and boom jib lengths, but the picture, the cross section through the boom, pin location, and height are not an accurate representation. Until this is added, we are not able to accurately determine boom obstructions. As much fun as it is to work in the model, how do you transfer this information to the field? I'll begin with the reports. First is the Defining Lifts Report. This report will tell you the defining lifts for the crane placements. You have the option to view the report on the screen or export it to PDF, CSV, or text format. The criteria used to determine the defining lifts are as follows. Heaviest load, greatest pick or set radius, highest adjusted lift capacity, or failed members in the lift. The All Lifts, Failed Lifts and Critical Lifts, and Selected Lifts report will generate the lift information for the indicated lifts. For example, Selected Lifts report will allow you to select lifts in the list to be reported. I will grab a few to demonstrate.
Finally, concerning reports is the pick list report which is very useful to show the foreman and signalman data concerning the picking and setting of individual lifts. Important data included is weight, location, which line is to be used, and the grid location if possible. To conclude this video, I will create some crane placement drawings from the views that I created. I'll add in a couple of dimensions. Add in an image for direction. Then finish by placing this erection view onto a crane placement sheet. As stated in the introduction of Part 1, for more in-depth information on specific topics, please continue to view the other Crane Tool videos. Please view the Erector Station video for more information on how to navigate throughout the model as well as learning other tools that are available within the Erector Station.